What's up guys, Nolan here and today we're doing a bunch of catch up on some small details and changes over the past few days. If you're working on your hideout right now and you're in the late stages, do not build the solar panels as there is a big bug right now where they use a lot of extra gas, exactly the opposite of what they should be doing, especially after you spend all that money. So it is a massive waste of money and time. BSG knows about it and it's just one of the many things on their list at the moment. So it's just one of those soon TM fixes. If you're wondering, I don't think we'll see that dev cast this weekend, but it definitely is possible. The reason I say that is because I don't think that BSG have had the time to prepare the material for it yet and by material I think they're going to do something with streets hinted at by a tweet that Nikita sent earlier today. For those wondering the next big patch we get aka a white patch should be in five-ish months and it will probably be the first iteration of streets. The next patch from right now in general should be that lighthouse expansion with the inraid trader which you can learn all about that in this video link below. Speaking of tweets by Nikita he leaked this work in progress shot as a meme the other day and then after looking into it I guarantee that this is a fab defense glock brace known as the scout this will have to be an attachment as this is not a weapon you simply just slide a glock into it and that turns it into a bit of a little rifle of sorts with a folding stock and grips and then of course one of the first questions that came to mind was whether or not that you could put a glock 18 in there and i do not see why you couldn't so the mp9 looks to be getting some competition here in the future also a couple days ago if you missed it the sa58 and the vpo 215 have had their recoils decreased while the vpo also had its ergo increased so generally a pretty big buff to both of the weapons while the vpo 215 is the best budget rifle and potentially weapon in the game in my eyes right now and to be specific that's a budget weapon not just weapon in general with how cheap it is and the amount of damage that you can do with it check out my clip that i've linked in the description for a better picture of what i'm talking about the bliss exchanges to escape from tarkov have been a big subject this patch and about a week ago bsg fixed some problems with certain ammo types if not all of the ammo types acting incorrectly at long ranges if this stuff is confusing to you join the club but because of that confusion a lot of people have been asking me for a video on the subject and I don't feel comfortable doing that. These things change way too often and I am definitely not confident enough to make a video that's going to just stay the same information because you're not going to be able to edit that video because there are just too many different variables. But what I will do is direct you to the Tarkov Ballistics website where you can look up everything that you need to know and it's updated regularly. It's also open source if any of you guys are interested in helping out with it. So if you like a certain type of ammo you'll see the best ranges to use it and the same goes for armor with how well it will stop all types of ammunition in the game. It's very straightforward and easy to use you just need to know what ammo or armor you want to work with for example i like bp rounds as a cheaper food for my 545 ak's right now and i know it's fine based off of the damage and pen power up to 100 meters for class 3 armor aka a lot of the helmets that people tend to wear which while we're on the subject damage is reduced at range as well so having penned that helmet that damage that's left over could be less than enough to actually kill the person even with a headshot with how the health system works in escape from tarkov right now i imagine there will be a point where you get knocked unconscious for situations like this in the future but we'll have to wait and see so i've linked this website below and i highly advise that you check it out bsg are working on fixing a lot of bugs and lingering issues from the server problems over the holidays so again i don't think we'll be seeing that dev update this weekend but i will keep an eye out for anything new and of course let you guys know more once i do until then though for the latest tarkov news check out the playlist here if you like this video then you know the drill please subscribe i really appreciate the people who do if you're looking for people to play with check out our discord links in the description if you're interested otherwise hope you have a nice day see you guys